This is Justin Harvey with We Are Change Orlando, and I am here with uh, Drew Williamson of Quantum Bioenergetic Services. How are you doing today, Drew? Doing good, man. Thanks. Now, Drew, you have a uh, very unique uh, device here with you that I would like to uh, share with people. And um, now, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, and, you know, from what I've learned, it is essentially uh, a device that uses the uh, high frequencies in conjunction with um, your positive intentions to essentially uh, charge our body up um, while shedding toxins and it has been known to do some uh, pretty pretty incredible things and help some people out uh, with with chronic uh, issues and health problems um, would you say that's a pretty accurate description uh, yeah, for yeah. the quantum pulse yeah that's an accurate description so it's a combination of several different technologies uh, it's a Tesla coil it's a rife machine uh, it's got some magnetic technologies up here in your halo and it's combined all in a specific geometric pattern. And all those uh, technologies combined together, when it's turned on, creates an electromagnetic field that extends out uh, around the device. And it causes the cells in the body to vibrate and shed toxins. Uh, it also raises the pH of the body up to a more alkaline state. Uh, it amplifies the intention of whatever, uh, you know, whatever person's holding when they're vibing. Um, it, it raises the DNA vibration to a, a higher level um, and basically just uh, promotes um, your health in your body, essentially. So, yeah. Now, uh, how long has this machine been around and uh, wh wh where did it come from? I don't know exactly how long the machine's been around. It was invented uh, by Gene Coots. They're out in Greeley, Colorado. Um, we've had our machine here since, I believe, 2002, somewhere between 2002 and 2005, somewhere in there. Um, so I don't know exactly when, you know, the first prototypes that he made rolled out were, but, um, yeah, we've had our sense about that time. Okay. And can you, uh, sort of, uh, go through a little bit of, uh, what the machine has looked like and how it's designed, uh, kind of just describe the parts on the machine for me a little bit. So yeah, down here is where the Tesla coil is, the shaft that's got a specific number of, of copper wrappings around it and it done in a specific way. Um, these tubes right here are, are the actual Rife part. It has the different frequencies that Rife uses uh, that goes through the different tubes, put in the, ge the, the geometric uh, shape. I forget the exact name of the magnetic technologies up here in the halo. Um, and then it's got a harmonizer in it. And all of it combined together when it's turned on, like I said, just create an electromagnetic field that does its, does its thing. And I heard you also mention that um, it's got sacred geometry uh, within it. Can you explain um, the importance of the sacred geometry? So our, our DNA um, has a specific geometric, uh, on the end of our telomeres, our, our DNA has geometric patterns in it. Uh, and it ties in with, with 6 and 12 and, and um, some numerical things. And so this has two stars of David, essentially, six-pointed stars at both ends. And Gene, when he was first uh, working on creating the machine, um, discovered that the machine actually didn't do what he wanted it to until he included the sacred geometry in in the machine so it ties in with your dna on that level on that sacred geometry on that uh on, on that level um now i'm pleasantly surprised as uh sandy has joined us drew's mother um who was very involved with this as well can you give me just a little background about um how you got involved with this briefly sure um in 1992 i was diagnosed with breast cancer I went down the traditional Western medicine route of life and chemo and surgeries and et cetera and post-surgery medications and chemo medications. And four years into that, I realized that nobody was helping me rebuild my immune system and that it just wasn't part of what Western medicine knew how to do. And I was taking a medication called tamoxifen. I went to the GYN oncologist and I said, gee whiz, show me the research data that says a perimenopausal woman uh, with my background would benefit from this. And in 1996, there was no data. So I stopped the medication. And then I had to go, okay, who knows how to work with and build your immune system? And at that time, it was the herbalists in um, our area. So I found an herbalist and started working with them. And I went back to my roots. I'm a nurse midwife. I'm a nurse practitioner. And so I went back to my roots of midwifery, which is in herbal... Uh, mineral, vitamin, energetic medicine. And the more that I got down that path, the more that I then opened up to being a healer, knowing who I am, working my energetic medicine. 
And then actually in 2002 was opened to something called the Skio, which is another energetic uh, healing machine we use. And then in 2005 to the Vibe machine, um, which Drew is just, you know, just mentioned is was uh, invented by Gene Kuntz. I went, I visited Gene. I um, saw what he was doing with this machine. And so I actually was ground zero for a Vibe machine in Central Florida. Got it, and we've had it, we've used it for obviously over 11 years now. And uh, it's part of our package of what we do for ourselves on a, on a daily basis. And now I've been cancer free for 24 years. And all of that, my family history is really, really awful. My mother, my aunt, my grandmother all died of bilateral breast cancer. Both of my female cousins have been diagnosed with breast cancer under the age of 50. There's a genetic component to the cancers that are running through my uh, mother's side of the family. And I'm the first female to live past 57, born in the US, without a recurrence. And that has to do with the energetic medicine and with the herbal mineral vitamin supplementations that I've done that stop gene expression and what I think. Very interesting. Now, um, you just uh, described it as the Vibe Machine. I just want so everyone knows this used to be called the Vibe and it is now the Quantum Pulse. It is the Quantum Pulse. And, so and, just and to clear that up. Yeah, it is. And Sandy can't uh, break that habit. Uh. That's, that's perfectly all right. I just wanted so the viewers would know. Yes, sorry. And, and what would you, um, if you could describe the Quantum Pulse Machine or the Vibe Machine in a nutshell, as, as compact as you could, how, how would you describe it in like an elevator speech? Um, it, it shakes all these trillions of cells up energetically with frequencies then that can be downloaded to the body, mind, and spirit, energetic field of the person, and detox the toxins out and then allow the body to utilize that energy any way it wants. Bottom line. Now, I also understand that it is important that you drink a lot of water before you use this machine. Can you explain why that is important? When Gene was inventing this, one day he uh, changed the color of water to this blue color, and he went, Shazam, I've got something. And he drank it, and he was energized for like 12 hours, and he thought, wow, you know, if I could just, I'll just create water and I'll sell it. Energized water. Well, it only held the charge for 12 hours. But because we are, what, 85% water, he right. knew he had something. So just as Emoto in Japan worked with ener the energy of water and how it changes our systems, so does this machine. That's why your thought and your intention is extremely important when you are working with the quantum pulse. Because as a man thinketh, so he is. And I've heard you mention that um, it's, it's pretty simple. You know, you just sit down in front of the machine and make sure you hold a very positive intention or a, um, a visualization that, that is really, that you enjoy, or something right. to do with love or happiness. Um, how exactly does it work? Is that really it? You just sit down in front of it? Can you explain the uh, coils that you need to hold in your hands? The coils um, are copper. Ta-da! And if you are right-handed, then left hand, there's a little dot in the middle. Left hand goes in, right hand goes out, because energy flows in left and right out. You hold them. And this increases the uh, effect of the, of the whole electromagnetic frequency healing. So it's basically sending that energy from the machine through those coils into you, essentially. You, it would send it without the coils, okay. but with the coils, it enhances it. It's okay, so it's amplifying it? Right, yeah. it's amplifying it. It will work without the coils. You've got some amazing uh, success stories. Um, can, you, can you describe a couple of those and some... Uh, some of those experiences. Do you want to roll with sure. that, Drew? Sure. Um, so uh, Thora uh, is, is a client of ours that we'd had for a while. She would uh, originally came in for Epstein Bar. Um, she was used to be a ballroom dancer. Used to have loads of energy, um, and she just over the years because of Epstein Bar and um, uh, just become lethargic and just lost her energy. wasn't able to go dancing anymore. She used to be a ballroom dancer, um, and just wasn't very happy with that so um, she was just tired of not having any energy decided she wanted to give it a try um, so she came by and uh, had a session 
and after her first session, she noticed her energy went back through the roof. Um, I believe after her first week of using it, she went to her doctor and uh, her Epstein-Barr count was way down, so the, the virus was basically going away from her system. Um, she was able to stand up on her tippy toes, which she hadn't been able to do for years. She'd had an injury to her toes um, that was causing her to not be able to do that, so it was another thing that was keeping her from dancing. Um, one side effect that she didn't even think about, um, she has a strange occurrence where, um, she lives down here in Florida, obviously, she has a strange occurrence where when thunderstorms would roll in, um, she gets tunnel vision. She gets a migraine that, that tunnel visions, and eventually, if it's bad enough, she can go blind for a short period of time. And so essentially, she just has to lay down and, and kind of rest it out and wait for the storm to go away. Um, she kind of describes it as almost like an electrical storm that goes off in her brain that causes these migraines or something. Um, but after using the device for a while, after using the quantum pulse for a while, um, that went away. Uh, she was able to drive during her storms, do whatever, have a normal life without uh, having that issue come up. Um, so she's one of our major success stories. Um, she's, she's one of the people who, right off the bat, saw uh, amazing results. Um, another lady of ours that uh, we worked with, uh, her name is Irene. She's from Poland. Um, she was in her early 70s when we started working with her. This was in 2012. Um, she was given six months to live while doing chemo and radiation therapy. The, the doc said... Uh, uh, for stage four lung cancer. She had, she had two uh, nodes, uh, lymphs, whatever, in her uh, right lung. And yeah, she was given six months to live even while doing chemo and radiation therapy. Uh, her son lives out in Denver and is into alternative means. He found us, contacted us, and talked them into starting to work with us. And they worked with us for eight months. Um, about a after the six month period, um, they were able to get off chemo and radiation. And we kept them with us for another two months just to make sure to get all the, the, the chemo out of their system. Um, but while she was doing her chemo and radiation, she had zero side effects of the chemo and radiation. She never lost her hair, she never lost her appetite, never had any nausea, never had any vomiting issues, and her quality of life actually had improved. Um, from another unrelated incident, she had had an accident and she had to have a titanium rod surgically imprint, uh, you know, put into her hip, her right hip, and because of that, she was having to use a cane or a walker. And um, she was able to actually stand upright more, she was able to not use the cane and walker as frequently. Uh, she was able to start swimming and doing aerobic exercises without having any kind of pain. Um, and yeah, her and her husband, you know, when they were going to, to, to wherever they were going to get the chemo, you know, they would see all these people who were sick and basically just dying. And she was not being affected by it at all. So to, to them, obviously, it, it was having a positive effect. It was keeping her healthy while she was doing her chemo and her radiation. Um, so yeah, they worked with us for eight months, but after the six month period, they, they live up in Tavares. So mm -hmm. um, for them to come to us, it was a, a, a big trip. It was hard for them to come to us on a, on a regular basis. So they decided they were gonna stop when they got off the chemo and radiation. And uh, about a week later after they decided they were gonna stop working with us, um, Richard, her husband called and said, hey, you know, her white cell count and her red cell count are going down. She's not feeling good. She's very fatigued. Um, you know, we want to start coming again. And so they, they came again for about another two weeks, and I think they went and saw their doctor again, and her red and white cell count went back up to normal, and she was fine again. And so they decided to stick with us for another two months. And um, so the last time I spoke to them was earlier this year, I believe January or February, and um, she's still alive today, cancer-free. So she's another one of our big success stories. Well, wow, that's really incredible. Now, um, this also can be used as uh, a prevention method. Um, you don't have to have a, an issue yep. like that if you'd like to use it. Yep. Um, I've heard you talk about you can use it as like a de-stressor. Um, can you explain some things you can do for people that are just so, healthy? Yeah, these technologies are actually made to keep people healthy to begin with. It's to prevent sick. It's preventive. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to be, you know, have any kind of chronic issue going on in the body to get a benefit from this. It can keep you from getting there in the first place. Um, but yeah, it, I mean, it, it, it's just like anything, you, you know, you, if you eat properly, getting enough sleep, you know, doing exercise, if you include this, you know, you're going to be a healthy person. It's going to keep you from getting sick to begin with.
It's going to help you. It may not keep you. Well, yes, it'll help. Okay, let's let's let's, you. let's yes. quantify that. Right. Yes. Okay. And we, we we should put that disclaimer out there that right. that yes, these technologies and what we do are for stress reduction only. We do not make any claims. We are not doctors. We do not prescribe, diagnose, treat. We don't claim to do anything. If our tech, if you have some kind of chronic disease and our technologies help you, awesome. But otherwise, our, our services are for stress reduction only. And now, uh, where can people find out? Um, I'm going to include some links in the description below for uh, more information about who invented the machine. Um, but there's somewhere that people can find a, a list of, of people that have these in the country. Is that correct? Correct. Vibe Technologies is who you want to go to because that's Gene's business in okay. out of Greeley. So Vibe Technologies and they have a list of people around the nation that have these. So awesome. I, I also wanna I also just wanna say I had the wonderful experience of having one of my clients, um, my, my gynecology clients come and use this machine one day and then I saw her a few weeks later and she told me that machine doesn't work. And I said, Oh really? But tell me what, why you think that. And she says, well, I was doing a race the next day and I didn't win. And I said, okay, so tell me what you were thinking while you were working, while you were using the quantum pulse. And she said that I wasn't going to win. I said, look at how powerful you are. You didn't think you were, were going to win and you didn't. And that's the point of, the, of, of one of the points of the machine. If you're thinking it, you're creating it. And this machine magnifies your thoughts. Yeah, it just really goes back to our thoughts create our own reality. Exactly. And if we hold that intention or that, that thought there, it's going to be amplified. So that's the importance of yes. holding such a positive thought. Wow, very interesting. It was, it was really a hoot. I, I was like, wow, yeah, thank think, you. Thank you, right. you know, it, for that. I think Testimony, that's one of the biggest basically. takeaways from this, if you're right, is that... I was, I was impressed. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Well, I just want to thank you guys uh, so much for um, sharing this with us today. And um, is there anything else you'd like to add? I think for me and my household, we use this for prevention, just so everybody knows that. Um, and most people look at me at, and they think that I'm in my 50s and I'm 65. And that's part of this deal. It's helping me stay youthful, be youthful, think youthful, go youthful. So at any rate. I, I, it's one of my main tools in my prevention toolbox.